As you can imagine, driving a screw into concrete is no easy task. If you find yourself needing to do this, you will either have to use a rotary hammer or a hammer drill. Both of the tools are powerful enough to sink screws into concrete, but their hammering mechanisms differ, providing the tools with different advantages and disadvantages. To find out which tool is right for your needs, watch on. We provide an overview of both rotary hammers and hammer drills, effectively answering which is right for you. Let's get to it. Hammer drills. Hammer drills are often viewed as a less powerful but more affordable and portable option. With a smaller striking mechanism, hammer drills are the best option for people who need the tool for personal or occasional use. Hammering mechanism. Hammer drills have a much smaller striking mechanism. The impact is caused whenever two rib metal discs go in and out of one another. This hammering mechanism is great for small to medium sized jobs, but it isn't as powerful as the mechanism inside the rotary hammer. Benefits. The benefits of the hammer drill lie in the drawbacks of the rotary hammer. Most notably, the hammer drill is incredibly lightweight and portable. Since this option has less power, these tools can be battery operated, and the actual striking mechanism weighs less due to its smaller size. This allows even the heaviest of hammer drills to weigh half of the lightest rotary hammer. As a result, hammer drills are much more ergonomic. You'll much easily be able to maneuver with this tool and bring it around the house. Another benefit of the hammer drill is affordability. Since these tools are less powerful, they are often way more affordable. If you are on a super strict budget, you are more likely to find a hammer drill that fits your price range than a rotary hammer. Drawbacks. Obviously, the biggest drawback of the hammer drill is that it is not as powerful as the rotary hammer. If you have intense drilling needs, the hammer drill simply might not provide enough punch to get the screw in deep enough. The other drawback of the hammer drill is that it does not absorb as much shock as the rotary hammer. It can create up to 30,000 beats per minute. This means that it creates much more shock that makes it more difficult to hold and handle. Best fur? Even though the hammer drill is less powerful and absorbs less shock than the rotary hammer, it is still useful and superior in the right context. Most notably, the hammer drill is best for small to medium-sized jobs, such as those around your house. You should not use a hammer drill for professional or semi-professional use. Rotary hammers Between these two tools, rotary hammers are often the preferred option for professionals and other people who need to hammer screws into concrete often. For those who need advanced strength and high shock absorption, rotary hammers are superior to hammer drills. Hammering mechanism The hammering mechanism in a rotary hammer includes a cylinder of the air and piston. The piston compresses the cylinder of the air, in turn beating the bed. This provides an effective and powerful hammering mechanism that can hammer screws into concrete with little to no problem. Benefits The biggest benefit of rotary hammers is their sheer strength. Because of the way the hammering mechanism works, rotary hammers simply provide more strength than hammer drills. For those who have more intense or frequent hammering needs, the rotary hammer will be the best option. Rotary hammers are ideal if you need to create holes that are bigger than one inch in diameter. Even though rotary hammers provide more force, they are not more difficult to use. In fact, rotary hammers absorb more shock than hammer drills on average. On average, rotary hammers can create 6,000 beats per minute. This makes the rotary hammer more comfortable and easier to use, especially if you have intense needs. Drawmax Since rotary hammers provide more power and less shock, they are often pretty bulky and heavy, especially compared to a hammer drill. The lightest rotary hammer weighs about 15 pounds, nearly double the weight of heavy hammer drills. This can be a drawback if you don't have a lot of muscle or have to use it for long periods of time. Additionally, rotary hammers are rarely battery operated. Because they are so powerful, they almost have to be plugged in. Though this is great for those with intense power needs, it makes them more inconvenient, especially if you don't have free access to a power outlet. Best for? Because of their enhanced power, rotary hammers are best for construction jobs or other professional needs. For personal use, the rotary hammer may be too big and unnecessary for your needs, making the hammer drill more ideal. Which is right for you? Although there can be many factors that go into deciding between whether you need a rotary hammer and hammer drill, the most important factor is the size of your project. In other words, we recommend looking at the concrete or masonry work when selecting a tool. If you need holes that are larger than 1 inch in diameter, you absolutely need a rotary hammer. Though these tools are more expensive and cumbersome, they are the right tool for this sort of job. In contrast, 
you should get a hammer drill for anything smaller than that. Getting a hammer drill for smaller jobs will save you money and arm power. Most people who need to drill into concrete occasionally around the home find the hammer drill to be the superior option for their jobs and pocketbook. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.